हेलो एवरीवन वन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ वी कैन लोड अ सी एस वी फाइल इस नो इस नो फ्लैग एंड विच कमांड वी नीड टू यूज फॉर एग्जांपल वी कैन क्रिएट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू क्रिएट अ टेबल लाइक इन दिस सिनेरियो आई नीड टू क्रिएट अ टेबल ट्रांजेक्शन्स एंड बिकॉज इन दिस वट एवर यू दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ सी एस वी फाइल ओके सो फर्स्ट यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मैनी कॉलम्स वी हैव इन ट्रांजेक्शन सी एस वी द सेम कॉलम यू नीड टू क्रिएट इन योर टेबल ऑल्सो अदरवाइज इट विल गिव यू एन एरर ऑफ डाटा फॉर्मेट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू चेक ऑल दी रिकॉर्ड्स सो नाउ वट्स एपनिंग दैट वी जस्ट अपलोड दिस ट्रांजेक्शन वन डोट सी एस वी इन स्नो फ्लैग सेशनल स्ट्रीमिंग ओके यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड दैट वी आर वर्किंग इन एन अमेजोन एस थ्री एंड इन साइड दैट वी जस्ट क्रिएट स्नो फ्लैग सेशनल स्ट्रीमिंग एंड दैन वी आर क्रिएटिंग अ डाटा बेस एंड यू यूजिंग दैट डाटा बेस आफ्टर दैट वी आर क्रिएटिंग दिस क्रिएट और रिप्लेस स्टेज so before creating any external stays we need to run this command and we need to give this path after that if uh, to list the files in the uh, bucket we just need to use list command after that you need to create a table with the same column name that we have in csv file okay this is very essential otherwise it will give you an error and after that because we we need to create a pipe so by the name of creating pipe we just give the name create or replace pipe and then transaction underscore pipe and here you can copy into transaction from that staging folder also don't forget to use auto underscore index is equal to true and by copying if you if you directly copy na then it will give you an error of like this formatting issue so to remove and to troubleshoot this kind of error we just you know copy into transactions and uh, uh, we uh, uh, can use the file delimiter so here there is the file format and then you need to give the name before uh, copying uh, you need to give the csv and file delimiter and then you need to skip headers once you run this command you can easily copy that transaction csv file into the your table okay and then you can uh, you know use this uh, copy into transaction from uh, your uh, whatever folder you have and by uh, running this create or replace why we are using create or replace because in case we have to edit or replace this table data or anything else we can easily do this okay so whenever you are working in database or any you know data related queries at that time you can see that we have create or replace from there you can check the definition now what we are doing we just copy this uh, path and now we are going to create some notification so in properties you can go and in advanced property you can see there is a kind of creating event and in event you can create a notification so here we go to the properties then advanced setting and then you are going to click on the events there you can add notification in notification we have this uh, uh, we can create a snow flag notification and just uh, click on the all objects create a notification then add prefix and you can add suffix also and then you need to give a send to destination folder so the destination folder is uh, a kind of uh, uh, so we are giving the prefix uh, transaction and there you can uh, select any destination so we are selecting sqs queue and then uh, after uh, giving this sqs queue you can uh, click on this uh, you know sqs at sqs queue arn and then you need to give the path name that we have copied from that uh, in our previous slide
now you just created your event and in uh, you know once you click on this transaction when dot csv from there you can check if uh, that notification has been created or not now by show pipes also you can see all the pipes that you have created and how you can check that s3 event notification has been set up or not so first you just select star from your transaction and then you can go to the uh, target path and from there you can see okay this transaction 2.csv has been created so once you have checked this after that you can uh, do one thing you just need to set the permission okay so here uh, we have set the permissions and then you can see that there is another transaction to dot csv has been created now you can select count star from transaction count star is using just to check the count so we have already created the uh, count so from there you can check all the count whether why we are using count star because we need to check if count is similar to transaction uh, dot csv table or not if if there is any mismatch means you your processing is not done correctly so uh, this should be match okay so this is our check so by doing this you can create this snow pipe 